Kishan Gautam, hearty congratulations on securing All India first rank in ESC 2022 in civil engineering branch. Thank you, sir. Uh, Ishan, what was your first reaction on hearing about your All India first rank? So my friend called me that uh, you scored, you just scored AIR, AIR one, and uh, I didn't believe this. I thought he was pulling my leg, <laughs> so I just downloaded the PDF and so that my name was actually there, and it was an amazing feeling. At, uh, once again, hearty congratulations, so Ishan. It's a very proud moment for all of us. Yes, sir. Uh, Ishan, uh, what type of coaching that you have availed from our ACE Academy? Sir, uh, I uh, joined for the material uh, for, uh, for ESE mains in 2021. Okay. Yes, sir. The okay. It seems, uh, it seems you have availed ESE Academy uh, postal coaching for uh, mains examination. Postal coaching, yes, sir. Yeah, postal coaching for mains examination and also online test series. Yes, sir. Okay, very good. Uh, Ishan, you please tell us how this ES Academy uh, post coaching and online test series helped you in securing such a All India first rank. So the material was crisp and uh, it did help in my revision. And uh, there were previous year questions and there were some short notes type uh, material also. And uh, then I joined the online test series and it helped me to uh, acknowledge what uh, where I am standing uh, from between my fellow art, uh, aspirants and it helped me to for making a, the revision strategy and to get some new type of questions and that's all okay uh, ishan gautam uh, in our uh, online test series where used to where used to stand rank wise so uh, i used to uh, stand that uh, sometimes at six and I, I was constantly in top 10 and okay. it was a single digit rank mostly okay so you could maintain that consistency yes sir Right. And uh, and one more, Mr. Ishan Gautam. Yes, uh, when, did, when did you pass out your BTEC and how long you have prepared for this uh, ESC exam? Sir, I graduated in 2019 and uh, then after I started my preparations for ESC and I took almost three attempts for uh, achieving this feat. So this was your third attempt? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, Mr. Ishan Gautam, compared to your previous attempt, Yes, sir. What Changes that we have made in this, uh, in this third attempt that could uh, fetch you the All India first rank. So in my first attempts, my prelims wasn't good, and uh, the, it caused me uh, to not succeed in my final uh, merit. And uh, thus, I more focused on my prelims exams, and uh, then mains was my already uh, my strong point. So that was good, but I mostly focused on prelims so that it would it got better, and I scored better in 2022, and that's why I got. But this thing. So very good. Uh, okay, Mr. Ishan Gautam, what was your specific strategy for the prelims examination and also for this mains examination? So for prelims, uh, I revised my notes again and uh, I just uh, appeared for the test series and uh, then I marked uh, where I lack and whether it is knowledge or uh, whether I'm doing silly mistakes or whether it is time. So I worked on all of these aspects and uh, scored well in uh, this uh, 2022 prelims. And for mains, and it is very, very uh, essential that you work on your time management and uh, especially uh, also your content. Also, there there is certain things there like uh, this time the mains paper was a little different and uh, it was more difficult than the earlier, uh, earlier years. So it is more... Uh, Required that you keep calm in your exam and just do your best, and that's all. Okay. And one more, Mr. Ichan Gautam. This yes. uh, in the general studies part, there are ten different subjects there, like yes. uh, uh, ethics, uh, project management is there, right? And environment aspect, current topics. So many topics are ten topics are there. Uh, could you prepare all the ten topics with equal emphasis, or any selective preparation you have made there? Sir, I did selective preparation and uh, I from as uh, we are engineers are good at mathematics. So obviously mathematics and apt go, in, go handy well. And uh, then you can prepare for project management and quality and standards and, and environment engineering That's uh, that you have common syllabus and in your technical also. So these three subjects are also important. Apart from that, uh, you can prepare whatever you like, like material science, we uh, study in uh, class 12 chemistry. So that go uh, well uh, with preparation. And then it de depends on your interest. Like you can prepare current affairs, ethics, 
like i left current affairs and uh, ethics and ict so i didn't prepare for them and uh, i prepared well for the other seven subjects and i think i'll get about 80 90 marks in gs okay i think you might have scored a very good marks in the mains examination i don't know how to marks my marks yet and uh, it'll okay i so, don't know right the summary is that uh, out of the 10 topics you have prepared uh, seven topics for all yes, so three topics you you left it yes sir i think this will be very useful point for most of the aspirants because they always a struggle in preparing all the 10 topics we always say that all the 10 topic preparation may not be necessary you want the best example that in spite of leaving the topics just so. prepare what you like and just and do your best in the exam okay if you okay. even if you prepare for for five subjects just do better in them and it's okay. more than enough okay and one more gotham when it comes to the technical subjects uh did you make any selective preparation or have you covered the entire syllabus no sir for for technical part i didn't compromise and my first attempt i compromised with steel and uh, hydraulic machines and uh, fluid mechanics but it didn't pay well and uh, i guess the as competition is more uh, these days and uh, seats are less so it's more essential that you give a proper at uh, attention to all the subjects though there are some some, some subjects that are uh, equally more important i have, have more weightage like uh, structure soil soil environment rcc uh, prepare well for them but don't leave leave any of the technical subjects mm-hmm. it can cause uh, uh, impact bad impact on your exam performance okay as for this uh, prelims exam is concerned i do agree with your point when it comes to the mains examination there is some scope for to go for a selection of some questions etc and moreover if you see the some subjects you know including like the geology tunnel engineering right docks and harbors railway engineering these are all having less, less weightage i will say uh, just don't leave them go through them and uh, it's need not to be prepared in depth mm-hmm. uh, as for me i didn't prepare for the uh, astronomical survey and it was too complicated to uh, understand so i left it but uh, apart from that uh, i go through uh, each and every subject and uh, not necessarily you go in depth just uh, cover your definitions and have a brief understanding of the subjects right and one more gotham as far as mains exam is concerned uh, time management writing skills they matter right so isn't that so within a given time of 3 hours could you answer all the conventional questions in the mains examination try to answer uh, almost all the question and uh, in my case uh, i appear, i completed almost uh, all the questions in paper 2 and paper 1 i didn't know some questions so uh, my attempt uh, was less and uh, as for some time management you should uh, prepare uh, for your test series well and uh, it helps you to manage your time and uh, give equal time weightage to all the questions uh, initially and uh, do questions what you know and uh, don't take questions on ego as all the questions will give you equal marks so it is not like you uh, you are going for hard, difficult questions so that you can prove yourself anything and it is not going to help you and uh, just do maximum of the questions whether it is easy whether it is hard whatever you know just try to complete it all it shouldn't be like uh, you know as something and uh, you didn't get time to do that to that it could be worse okay so one more thing is gotham normally the students who prepare for this uh, upsc exams uh, a particular this engineering service etc they do prepare some short notes micro notes as such yes, in sir. our case did you make any such notes for your revision purpose sir, i tried to make uh, short notes but i failed terribly at that and so i didn't prepare for i didn't go for short notes and i had my class notes and with time uh, as i revise them more frequently with time uh, these short no- these no- uh, my classroom notes became my short notes only so i, I uh, used to spend very less time to revise them because i revise them almost 50 times <laughs> okay right no no i, I do very much more and more uh, the time taken gets reduced right so you are saying that you made more frequent revisions But i'll advise uh, if you can prepare uh, prepare short notes they'll help you at the last time revision i i'll say that but i failed at that so i didn't prepare for that okay right 
And one more point, Mr. Gautam, you are the right person to tell this particular point. Uh, up to prelims, right? Did you focus only on the objective pattern and uh, without looking at the mains? Otherwise, did you prepare simultaneously the mains part as well as the prelims part up to the prelims? In what? my first what? attempt, that was uh, ASC 2020, I prepared only for prelims. And I was hopeful that I'll clear that. But unfortunately, I didn't clear that. But after my prelims, uh, I left that uh, at that point and uh, prepared for mains. I started preparing for mains. Uh, for as uh, the next prelims was about uh, 18 months after the ASE 2020 prelims, so I get enough time. I got enough time. I completed my mains preparation. Then I again started my prelims. Then when prelims was closed, like uh, six months or four months were left, then I again started prelims. So when I get, uh, gave my next prelims, uh, my mains preparation was already done. Okay, that was my approach. Mm -hmm. Right, and uh, Gautam. Uh, how was your interview? Can you recall one or two interesting questions in the interview of USC? Most interesting and most shocking uh, question was uh, my second question, and that was out of nowhere. Uh, so, Smita Nagaraj, ma'am, uh, read my address, home address that was written in that my dev that was near international airport, and she just took airport word and started questioning on airport, like what type of structures are there, what type of payments are there, how they are designed, and this all. So that was something that totally unexpected. The last questions were technical questions, and they were simple to answer. Right. So what was the feeling after attending the interview? I thought that it was good. It was plain and simple. There was nothing complicated asked, and uh, I did well. So I hoped for... Uh, what whatever the mad, madam's average marks are there that i'll get that definitely okay got one point i forgot to tell to ask you you said you were a first attempt you could not get the prelims exam yes right? sir. what was that result in the second uh, attempt sir i reached till interview and uh, then i didn't make it to final list okay right good uh and then uh each uh, and uh after giving this prelims exam, mains exam and interview. Have we ever expected that you'd be in the top uh, 10 like this? Of course, first time. <laughs> have we ever no, expected? Sir, uh, no one expects the AIR one. I was uh, sure of getting into the list uh, at least. So I thought that I'll get into the list, nowhere how. And uh, then AIR one is totally different thing and I didn't expect that. Even uh, getting into top 10 would be a great achievement for me. Okay. Okay, Gautam, so last uh, question. See, there are many aspirants who have been preparing for this engineering service exam for four years, five years also, right? Yes, with, with your uh, good experience, you are the highly successful person in the ESC with All India first time. What are your valuable advices to these aspirants of ESC? I'll say don't get disheartened if you fail and just prepare well your studies and don't be dependent on ESE only but if you study for ESE you are quite prepared for other exams also and give them uh, create a backup and uh, keep appearing for ESE and just stick to it stick to your preparation stick to your discipline and you will get through it definitely right so thank you Ishan Gautam for spending your valuable time right thank you and, sir. Uh, and please convey our best wishes to your parents also. Thank you, sir. And a hearty congratulations once again for Thank Ishan you. Gautam for having secured the All India first rank in the ESC civil engineering. Right? We are proud of you, Mr. Ishan Gautam. All the best. God bless you. Thank you, sir.